of the ship. I detect no life signs, but there may be useful technology or information still inside. Looks like it was stripped after the crash. They'd have tried to get a beacon up as soon as possible. From the look of it, this beacon's been here a while. Why would they wait years to signal? Pause in beacon protocol. Eight years, 237 days, seven hours. Pause is recorded as record deleted by acting captain Ronald Taylor. That's not right. My father was first officer. Ronald Taylor was promoted under emergency command protocols. Other flagged issues, unsafe deceleration, local food and neural decay, beacon activation protocols. Local food impairs brain functions? What are the effects? Impairment of mental function due to chemical imbalance begins within seven days of ingesting local flora, regardless of decontamination or preparation. Impact on higher cognitive abilities and long-term memory is cumulative, but significant within a standard month. It is not known if neural decay is permanent. Data collection was not completed. Come on, let's get going. You came from the sky? The leader said someone would come. He delayed for so long, but he still has power. Some have lost faith. The hunters. They will have seen your star. They will not let you help him. What are you talking about? You're not making sense. Uh, I... I don't remember how to say it. He's our leader and we serve so we can go home. But some want to fight him. They were... they were cast out. He exiled them. So they hunt his machines and those who help him. They don't believe that rescue will come. Hunters, they won't stop until the leader is dead. Kill them! Agents of the Liar! He will not escape! Is that a settlement? They'd better be friendlier than the beach group. I need answers. Huh. They're from the same group as the ones that attacked us, but these are docile. There aren't any men here. Maybe it affects genders differently. Makes males get violent? Possibly, but the female on the beach said the exiled ones came back as hunters. It doesn't matter right now. One of these people must know what my father has to do with this. You have his face. He promised to call the sky, but he sends nothing. He forced us to eat. To... decay. You are cursed with his face! Not the best reaction to the family resemblance, Jacob. Why would my father force his crew to eat toxic food? Whatever's happening here needs to stop. He has a cruel face. His cruel face. I can't talk to you. I don't want punishing. His mechs shoot without question. Not exactly a long-term discipline solution. Please, here. You could end it. You have his face. But you fight his machines. You might stop this. This, I forget how to read. But this was the start. What he promised, and what they did to us. We need the sky. Take us back to the sky. Jacob, what does it say? It's a crew logbook. Some of them thought the beacon repair was taking too long. They were afraid they'd run out of supplies and lose their minds to the decay. My father restricted the ship food for himself and the other officers so they wouldn't be affected. Everybody else had to eat the toxic food and hope for treatment later. The rest is a casualty list. A few mutinied over the decision. My father and his officers turned the mechs on them. The beacon was fixed after a year, so the plan must have worked. Why no signal? Those weren't the last entries on the casualty list. More incidents, harsh punishments. It's like they're cattle. Toys in a year. 
all the male crew members are flagged as exiled or dead. They separated out the women, assigned them to officers like pets. And after the beacon is fixed, the officers appear in the casualties too. After. My father took control and didn't stop it. So why call for help now? The surviving males are changing. Everything he did is coming back to bite him in the ass. Nine years. Why didn't he set it right? I need to find this man. Good shot! Stand stable! Taking fire! Here. I knew a real squad would blow through just fine. Sorry if the mech scuffed your pants. I'll get you something nice when we get back to Alliance Space. I've gotta have some back pay coming. What about your crew, acting captain? Total loss. The toxic food turned them wild. They propped me up here in some kind of ritual behavior. Waiting for a chance to signal has been hell. That's the best you can do? You let all your people talk back like that? <laughs> Who are you exactly? Doesn't matter. You're running a very questionable setup here, Captain. Explain. Of course. Uh, it was chaos after the crash, and the crew never really accepted me as Captain. They rebelled and trapped us here. Once they started eating the toxic food, I couldn't control them. And I couldn't get to the beacon. Just stop. We know what you did to your crew. Why let this go ten years? Who the hell are you? Taylor. Lieutenant Jacob Taylor. Jacob? My Jacob? Now everyone knows everything, I want to hear you try and justify this. You have to understand, this isn't me. The realities of command, they change you. I wasn't ready for that. I made sure you were taught right. Before I left, I hoped to leave it at that. I'm not biting, Captain. At some point, you chose to do this to your crew. You. What was that moment? I want to know that there was an actual reason. There was resistance to the plan. Mutiny. We had to take a hard line to keep order. And things settled down. As the decay set in, we made sure the crew were comfortable. Some even seemed happier. Ignorance is bliss, right? And they were grateful for guidance like an instinct. Pure authority was easy at first. Months in, the effect lowered inhibitions. They got territorial, rank, protocol, they couldn't understand. We had to establish dominance. After a while, the perks seemed normal. That's it? You created a harem and played king? Ten years in a juvenile fantasy? I can't point to where it all went wrong. But when the beacon was ready, revealing what happened didn't seem like a good idea. We can help these people. Cerberus can have ships here in days and pull everyone out. He's not worth the fuel to haul him out or the air he's breathing. He's damn lucky I don't think he's even worth pulling the trigger. I don't know who you are, because you're not any father I remember. Maybe we go arrange pickup for the rest of the survivors while the acting captain deals with the hole we punched through his mechs. Now wait, I'm supposed to get rescued. The crazy ones, you don't know what they'll do to me. I'm willing to make a guess. My father was a different man, Shepard. A good man. Wish I'd found him. Jacob! You are a better man dead. As far as I'm concerned, you still are. Jacob! Don't even give him the taillights. Roger that. What do you mean it wasn't you? Jacob, 
If I had leaked the information about the Gernsback, I would be smiling at your resolution of the situation. I am not smiling. Nothing goes through this ship, my ship, without a report to you. I had no more reason to believe Jacob's father was alive than he did, but I'm happy to know the situation is behind you. Fine. You didn't forward it. So who did? I did. Was this supposed to be a favor? Or did you just want to see him squirm? What he did with it was his own business. There was a time when it mattered to you. Sending this along seemed like keeping an old promise. I keep my promises. Miranda, we'll discuss your liberal interpretation of security protocol in private. Shepard, Jacob. You good with this, Jacob? It's all bull, Shepard. Captain Taylor's body has some catching up to do, but the man died a long time ago. I've already dealt with that. I guess he was a good enough father that even he can't screw up what he taught me. You had no idea Miranda was behind this? No, she's got a good memory. Selective, but good. I haven't thought about those days in a long time. Can't figure which promise she meant, though. Not sure I really want to know. She requires a better man than I. Come on, we've got work to do. Aye, Commander. Shepard, thanks for the help. Anytime, Jacob. <laughs> 